We begin tonight with results from the statewide primary runoff election. Voters headed to the polls today to cast their votes in races for several statewide offices. The majority of voters today were most likely Republican voters because there are no statewide elections on the Democratic side of the ticket. But there are some Democrats in the races today on the county level, and we will get to those in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to bring in political analyst Steve Flowers to break down all of the results and reaction on today's races. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good to see you, Tamika. All right, let's start with the attorney general's race. We had Troy King versus incumbent Steve Marshall. Marshall received 62% of the vote to win it with a total of more than 141,000 votes. Steve, what, what are your thoughts on this race? That one surprised me. I thought it would be close, and I thought maybe King might win. I have to see the county-by-county county results to see what, what the reason Marshall won so well with Wilmerly. The obvious uh, conclusion may be that there was a sympathy vote for his wife passing away during the, the primary runoff. That could be one conclusion. The other conclusion, once I see the final results, he is a North Alabama candidate versus a South Alabama candidate, and there are twice as many votes in North Alabama, so that may be some regional effect to that, too. All righty, and next up is the GOP runoff for lieutenant governor. There you had Will Ainsworth defeating Twinkle Andres Kavanaugh, and Kavanaugh has already conceded to her opponent. I think if any of us was looking at any of those campaign ads, it got pretty nasty in this race, Steve. Well, what that tells you is money talks. Uh, he brought a lot of personal money to the campaign. He's from North Alabama. She's from South Alabama. And the bigger thing is that negative advertising works. People lament it, but the reason he won that race is he went negative in, in comparative ads against Twinkle and took her to task for being a longtime political figure in the state. Uh, but also, there's an underlying current I'm seeing in this race, too. All these statewide candidates that won were endorsed by Alpha, the Alabama Farmers Federation. They are still the big dog in Alabama politics. Obviously. Yeah. The farmers vote, and they vote that ballot. Any, any other thoughts you have on today's Well, those election? are the two, only two things I can see until I see the results of the, where the votes came from. The Marshall thing surprised me. Uh, and, and also uh, the Brad Mendham losing on the judge race. But Sarah Stewart's a good candidate for Mobile, too. So that's some good races. Pate won convincingly for Agriculture Commissioner. And that was a race that well, we saw a lot of negative campaign ads as well. And, and Alabamians have an inexplicable way of determining who's the farmer in that race. Pate was the only farmer. And again, he was endorsed by Farm Bureau, Alpha. Wow. The other ones were just running for the fun of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your insight tonight. Thank you, Tamika. All righty. Well, here is a look at results from other races across the state for Associate Justice of the Supreme Court Place One. Sarah Hicks Stewart took the seat over Brad Mendham for the Court of Civil Appeals Place One. Christy Onlinger Edwards took the vote over Michelle Manley Thomason with 61% of the vote. In the Court of Criminal Appeals, place two, Chris McCool took the seat with 55% of the votes over Rich Anderson. And for Commissioner of Agriculture and Industries, Rick Pay received 57% of the vote over Gerald Dial. There are some other important races on the county level, too. In Bibb County, the GOP runoff for a circuit clerk between Kayla Tucker Cooner and Russell Rusty Price was decided for Kayla Tucker Cooner with 56% of the votes in Fayette County for probate judge. Mike Freeman took the seat over Mike Newman. And there's a sheriff's race, too, with Byron Yerby over Danny Jenkins. They run off on the Democratic side of the ticket in Greene County for probate judge. Rolanda Wedgworth took the seat over Jeremy Rancher. And for Greene County Commission, District 5, Roshonda Somerville took the seat over Marvin Childs. Back to the Republicans in Walker County and the sheriff's runoff, Nick Smith took the win over incumbent James Jim Underwood. Also in Walker County in the race for a probate judge, it was Ailey Tucker who took the win over John Mark Dunn with more than 59,000 votes.